hey guys welcome to another cooking video in this video i'm going to be cooking or her soup let's get to it so i am going to start off by you know boiling my stock fish my dried catfish okay this is the maggie cube i'm going to be using this particular seasoning cube is my favorite for all things soups stews and rice so yeah i'm going to be using this i've put my sauce i put the maggi cube inside and then i'll go ahead to wash my goat meat thoroughly okay and i'll put it inside the pot and leave it to boil all right now i have my pomo already washed this pomo is the skin of cow all right of a cow and it tastes delicious i'll put this later because i don't want it to get too soft i have my cocoyam flour i'm not going to be using um boiled cocoyam to thicken the soup i would use i used um four packs of this cocoyam flour i'm going to be using my palm oil to you know mix it up this soup is going to this group is going to bang all right so yes now as you can see my stock has come to a boil and it's time for me to melt the cocoa yam flour okay so i'm going to go ahead and put the palm oil all right bleach it a little or in other words just let it get hot once it gets hot pour in those packs of cocoa yam flour okay um pour in everything and then you need to mix this thoroughly okay so yeah that's just basically what i'm doing here putting all the four packs and i'm going to mix it so you see how it looks like so just hold on <laughs> yeah so um as you can see don't be afraid use that spoon mix it thoroughly and very soon you will see what the consistency looks like when i am done make sure there are no white spots okay so yeah this is what it looks like after i had mixed it thoroughly yeah now once you're done doing this the next thing is to put it inside the stock hole okay as you can see the stock is still boiling so i'm just putting it in there make sure that you don't have any seed make sure it melts inside that um fish and goat meat stock so yes still putting it in there and now you can see ah uh, in fact the whole kitchen was scenting really nice at this point i'm going on uh, i had to put my crayfish i already grounded this crayfish so i put in the crayfish and turned it please while you're doing this make sure you're tasting for salt you don't want your soup to be too salty okay if you're someone who eats pepper i have to say this go ahead and put your pepper away <laughs> in my household we do not eat pepper because of my parents okay and this is the oha leaf okay <laughs> already washed and torn we don't slice we tear it up <laughs> look at that smoke <laughs> i have to clean the screen but yeah this is what it looks like put in the oha there and stir it well we don't want the oha to get too done now this is what we call ogiri okay it has a particular scent to it if you don't like ogiri move on but if you do this is how i mix mine i put it in water mix this is the final step of the soup uh -huh. so mix it in water it's made out of i think pumpkin seeds mix it in water and go ahead to pour this mixture into your soup it will give it that native village scent so that's what i'm doing here and ah our soup is ready oh um, if you taste this soup, eh, hey, it's kata, it's kata, I won't lie. If you want to eat, come to my house. So. <laughs> Bye.